going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here. I'm just chilling on my floor. I like to sit on the floor. I think it's I'm getting older and, and it just feels more comfortable when I sit in this sectional area here. I just like it. It's so nice. I look up at my TV. It's like a, a movie theater. Um, this video is going to be a little bit different than what I usually do. Um, this is going to be something I think I'm going to continue to do and, and, and talk about more often um, what I feel about the world. I don't know what I'm going to call this. I think it's going to just be what's up or what's up with. And um, this is something that just came random. And you guys let me know in the comment section if you like this kind of in, uh, uh, infused thought. I want you guys to comment let me know what you think about these subjects. Uh, there's been a lot of stuff going on in the world. And um, it doesn't seem like anybody's noticing it. And if people do notice it, usually they are the minority. And they're, shh, don't talk about stuff. And uh, I want to talk to you guys about some things that I've been noticing in the world. And... Uh, what it could mean for the future and uh, this first episode I'm going to do is going to be about music so what's up with music what the hell is up <laughs> music is a, a very powerful tool for uh, human consciousness and, and, and for human emotion uh, there's songs that you can play I know you guys have heard them too the songs that can make your heart flutter you feel sad or all of a sudden you feel romantic you, you, you feel you know attractive there's songs that make you feel down and, and, and songs that make you feel like, hey, look, I, I've been through this. So music is a very uh, powerful tool for the human being. And uh, I've seen music now over the last 34 years come from a place into a place that's so different. And um, I want you guys' thoughts on this. Now, I know a lot of people will say, Beastly, music is just entertainment. And uh, music can be entertainment. But music is a tool as well. Music is used to make people feel good, make people feel bad. People write songs to get a certain emotional uh, response out of people. And, and for the most part, I think it's very true. If you listen to Don't Worry, Be Happy, uh, usually you hear that and you feel a little, a little more pep in your step. You feel better about your day because it's a song about positivity in the face of negativity. And uh, I, I listen to that song myself uh, when, when I don't feel as good as usual. And so I know music really does affect people. There's music that you can play with your significant other and, and you guys will feel more emotional bond. There's music to make people have sex. You guys know what I'm talking about. And uh, so I grew up in, in a very strange place as far as listening to music. Uh, my mother, a little Indian woman, uh, she grew up listening to old school country. Her dad was in a band and uh, they played a lot of old country music. And um, uh, my grandfather was really good with the guitar. And so my mom, she took that and it became a part of what she envisioned music as. So uh, she grew up listening to a lot of old school uh, country music. She listened to a lot of rock and roll, soft rock. I won't say rock and roll because rock and roll now is just crazy. But she listened to things like um, Holland Oates, the Eagles, which I think the Eagles is a great band. Uh, she listened to Led Zeppelin, you know, uh, Free Bird. She, she loves, loves all that music. And so I grew up listening to it. So a lot of that music, I know. I know I'm a black guy. I'm not supposed to. Shh. But um, so I got that side of music, and I understand it, and I appreciate it, because there is a lot of beauty in that music. And, but on the flip side, my dad, born in Cleveland, Ohio, a brother, he, um, he spent a lot of time listening to Motown, uh, Smokey Robinson, The Supremes, uh, Four Tops, Temptations. Uh, just a lot of really good old school music. Marvin Gaye, um, Aretha Franklin. And so I grew up listening to that as well. I have a really deep background when it comes to what's considered uh, black music or African American music. African American, that just doesn't sound right. Just call me brother. But so I have a really good um, outlook on music in general. Now, as a, a man in my 30s, I listen to a lot of. I listen to, uh, I, I guess it would be instrumentals. I, I like uh, soundtracks to movies, scores. I listen to some rap. I don't listen to a lot of it. And uh, I, I listen to the old stuff, old school. I listen to the music my mom listened to. She listened, used to listen to the old Madonna and listen to the stuff my dad listened to. I'm a big Marvin Gaye fan. So I love music, but I don't love today's music. And um, that's what I want to talk to you guys about. What is up with music nowadays? Now, I watched rap come from the days of Big Daddy Kane to the days of Lil Wayne. And that's a huge gap there. It's, it's, a, it's a disconnect. One is about 
enjoying being able to rap and being able to rhyme and being the king of that. The other one is about selling drugs, demeaning women, uh, worshipping money, name brand clothing, and how rich this guy is because you bought his album. And that's really what these rappers are saying nowadays. I'm the shit because you bought my album. And uh, it's, it's, it's um, insane the kind of people that are being worshipped in the world as celebrity. People like Kanye West who go against morally everything I stand for. This guy said he'd be uh, he would be in the new Bible if a new Bible was written today because he's a modern day prophet because he could rhyme. It, Mr. Rogers could rhyme, okay? But he wasn't an asshole. He wasn't arrogant. And I do believe that meek, meek people will inherit the earth. I just think that these people are... Where music was and where it is now is such a, a big gap. Uh, when you listen to Ain't No Half Step, Ain't No Half Steppin' by Big Daddy Kane, it's about just rhyming. I used to listen to you know, Kid and Play. I used to listen to Salt and Pepper growing up. I used to listen to all this old stuff that now these people would be laughed at. Run DMC, I listened to them growing up. And now these people would be shunned by today's society because they're not talking about something edgy enough. They're not talking about how much drugs they sold. They're not talking about how many women they slept with. They, they're not talking about, you know, uh, how much money they got making it rain. The first person I ever saw make it rain was a Joker and Batman. And he made it rain in the middle of Gotham. So they're copying the Joker, if you ask me. But um, it's amazing to me that this kind of music is being played on the radio every single day. And I'm, I'm centering this more around hip-hop because hip-hop back in the day versus what hip-hop is now is so different. And when you hear the messages, these, these songs have meaning. They have power. They really do. Kids grow up, they hear it on the radio, and uh, when you hear it on the radio, it becomes a part of your thought process. Suddenly, if you hear a woman is a hoe constantly, and you go out in the street, and you see a woman, in the back of your mind, it clicks, Ho, I heard it 50 times today on the radio. And so children are very easily susceptible to impression. You can put your thoughts on a child so easily, and that's what's going on. Our children are being raised by media. They're being raised by Lil Wayne. They're being raised by these people, and we don't even stop to think about it. We just tell them to go in the room, put their headphones on, and enjoy their day. And we wonder why society is in the place that it's at. It used to be uh, that you could listen to music with your friends and have a good time. A good song to, to, to use it as an example is Summertime by Will Smith, which is a classic um, as far as hip-hop goes. And you wonder why. I, I wonder why sometimes. Why is this song a classic? Will Smith has never been a lyricist or an icon as far as lyrics go. He's more uh, renowned for you know his show, Fresh Prince. He made a few albums. But he doesn't curse on his music. It's something that he he has you know made known that he doesn't want to delve into the negatives of hip hop. But that song is such a likable song. You you when you watch it or hear it, you watch the video or you hear the song, it makes you feel good because it's just talking about a uh, everyday day. You're talking about listening to music in your car, barbecue on it, you know, getting a car wash, or watching the girls walk by, driving by real slow so everybody can see you, and and that's something that everybody can relate to. And uh, when you have music that does nothing but talking about, you know, you got little young Jeezy, ha <laughs> ha, in 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 the kitchen cooking up white. You're telling this to children. Children are inquisitive. Children want to know what he's talking about. So they're going to ask their friends and ask teenagers, and and then sooner or later they might be exposed to it. And so to connect with someone that they idolize, they get into that lifestyle. Now we have more dope boys, and these people say it in their music. Jeezy said it. And then we go to jail and think about it all. Nothing else to do, so we ball till we fall. And that becomes what the children look forward to. And I think we as parents need to stop this shit. There is no governor here. There's no way to say this music cannot be played on the radio. You know, we don't need our children to hear that. If it sounds good, it makes women shake their asses, play it. That's the society. That's the consensus of society. I hope you guys enjoyed this Last of Us uh, footage. I really am enjoying that game. I haven't really been playing anything else. I've been playing my Vita and, and enjoying my Vita as well. The PlayStation Plus stuff that they've been giving out has been great. But you guys comment. Let me know in your own words what is the governor? What is the thing? You guys hear my washing machine too. What is the thing in the world that can slow this down or at least put music back 
on the right track because music is something that can affect us in so many ways and I think that we have the capacity for change to give children hope give children something positive to look forward in their futures because right now it's nothing but a lot of negative hope you guys enjoyed the footage I'm the Beastly Gamer and I'll see you guys next time